Welcome back, you guys. This is Desindra. I'm seeing my EU4 Japan of Heaven campaign. Where we are not doing so great because uh, we have a disaster picking up. Actually, it's already fired. What am I saying? I need to get to at least one stability. And to do that, I'm going to need to get rid of this uh, religious unity, the overextension. This is going to be way too expensive. I just click it. Like, it needs to be at least one, so ugh. I'm gonna have to fight some rebels. Particularists? I don't wanna fight particularists. God damn it. I know separatists. Ah, uh, this is annoying. Overextension will drop it, yeah. So once the coring is done, so basically I went to war with Korea, took a bunch of their shit, and now I'm kind of suffering for it because I took too much, and uh, it's fine, fine. I have two vassals. Okay, unrest among the peasants. Uh, may, this might be related to. So I get. National unrest minus one, but Mutsu. Okay. You just get this army across. I think your list will increase autonomy, right? Yeah, I don't remember why I moved this army across. I was going to keep one here in Japan. This is going to be uh, a nightmare. Yeah, they want more land. I don't mind that. Now. Oh, clergy. The, the autonomy here is awesome. That's the fire alarm. Hope I'm not... Hope I'm going to be okay. Uh, yeah. 48%. It's a lot of autonomy. I probably should check out that fire alarm, but it's fine. It's turned off. Everything is good. Nobody, nothing is on fire. I hate that. Like back when you were at school, everybody would throw the fucking fire alarm because if they were bored. It happened a lot in my school. Like I, there was never a fire, but the fire alarm like tripped like twenty times during my stay there. It was fucking annoying. And every time you treated it like it was actually a fire and evacuated. Fucking hilarious. Crush them, would you? Oh shit. I probably should have watched. I lost a lot more troops there than I needed to. Okay, um. Okay, my rebels are decreasing is good. Now, I'm not making a lot of money. Oh yeah, I have loans as well. Shit. That interest. Um, I could fire some of these advisors. I hate that event as well. We just lost a buttload of autonomy. No, I, I gained a lot of inflation. This inflation has been going up the whole game. I need to bring that down as well, but uh, I need religious unity. Let's just... Okay, now I'm barely losing any money. Okay, good. Two more provinces, and we're good. We're good! So these are the two states that I gained. I have not accepted... I did accept Korea. Okay, good. So... Culture-wise, we're good. Like, we got a culture union over uh, Japan. Right? Yeah, we did. And we have Ainu, which we're never gonna accept. Oh, they're up here as well. So Sakhalin. 
and the Kuril Islands. But no, I'm not going to accept that. I'm also not going to fully core this. Uh, the overextension is going to go away, and I need the admin to get rid of this disaster. Which is annoying. Now, religious unity. Okay, I should get six more religious unity from this. This is gonna be huge. Okay, and next date. Okay, sweet. So, no more overextension. This should be over soon. And then we have the old capital. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Now, this province is completely Shinto, so let's turn this off. Let us turn on Religious Unity, and let's take Hangzhou. Because it's the largest chunk, it's 4%. It'll bring me up to 90. And once that is done, I can probably start clicking this. So, the base cost is 100. Let's see if I can get some more admin points. Yeah, I can. It's called Diet and Recruit Minister. Oops. Six support. This would take it up to 55. This would take it up to 70. Um, sure. And I can give them maybe an extra province. What would this do? 72. Something with autonomy. Something with a lot of autonomy. Oh yeah, the it. 75, okay. I need those admin points. Okay, uh, I can't grant monopoly charters. But I can demand diplo. So if I'd go... Have I given everything to the workers? Yeah, I have. Everything that is value trade-wise has been given to them. Uh, I'm just going to demand the blue power. Actually, inflation guy. Now, it's a level 3. It's going to be way too expensive. Let's just click it like this. So, I need to make the clergy happy when I get the stability cost modifier, minus 10. So, I'm going to wait until I'm going to click the button and then I'm going to Go for it. Let's go to speed four. An extra missionary. Um, should I? Yeah, fuck it. Maybe I'll get an event. So, so on. Okay. Three three four. Three three four is not bad. Okay, let's get a uh, missionary prestige, right? I'm gonna be doing a lot of conversions. And this is garbage. No, no. Uh, what? I already accepted the institution, so yeah. Prestigious conversions. This means I can start using my... Oh, I took another loan! God damn it! Everything is off. Okay, this fort down here is uh, redundant now. This fort up here is enough. If I need forts, I'll just build some more. This one is good, although it's, I wish it was by the coast. An advisor died. I'm just gonna skip him. I can't afford him. I wish this fort was over here. In the mountains, then. It's next to a coast. It covers most of the territory here. Uh, what does fur do again? 
10% local trade power. It's garbage. 10% is nothing. That's annoying. So I'm building spinosaur strength against Korea. Like, I'm not sure if I want any more thing here. Like, I would like to trade the center of trade. Culture-wise, I mean, should, would I ever integrate the Aaron? Would I? I don't think so. My, uh, I can accept three more states. Then I can plan that out. So if I accept this trade node, and the culture fits in at least, so it would be all this just for one state, and I could take this state for the two provinces here that would give me a naval force limit. Ah, what the fuck? Asshole. You fucking asshole. How'd you? I also didn't know that if you had minus three stability and you got that event, it would just it would just cost you a hundred admin. Okay, Mongol Liberty is there. I kinda I kinda need your money, man. Yeah. It's not a lot, but I need money. Sure. Okay. Conversions are going good. My prestige is garbage. The, the price on this is dropping quickly. Ah, I can repay a loan. Yeah, sure. It's one of many. Granted monopolies, so does this mean I can do grant monopolies and recruit minister to go above 50 and then ask for money? Yeah, there we go. I'll pay off these loans, no problem. Diplo tech? Uh, sure. Once you make me... Let's see, what does it say here? 13 development. Yeah, they have garbage. They are a horde. And I enforce their religion. Yeah, well. Hello, Yaren. You are now Shinto. Congratulations. Mongolia is Shinto. And Yaren will be soon. Spreading the Shinto faith. Military attack. Okay, I'm a military tech ahead of me at least. That's something. They're getting so much free monarch points from people. Okay, that's done. So let's do the next step. Over. Yep, so convert. I don't know how much war we're going to be doing in this episode, you guys. We're kind of just recovering. Fixing this fucking disaster. Achieving religious unity. Yeah, there we go. I can turn off this now. Okay, now I'm making some more money. Shows who the air next expired. That's okay. Let's return you. And should we get some spine for strength with me? The payload. There we go. Extend them. Okay, I got three left. I'm paying interest of six ducats. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, I'll, 
I'm not gonna spend money. Manpower? Sure. Sure. The Ainu Separatists. Are they still? Non accepted culture. Well, I'm never gonna accept this culture. Negative stability is six. God damn it. The legitimacy is garbage. Ugh. You know what? I think it's time I click this. Well, I could finish this. I could. I probably should. Uh, no. Ooh, stability cost modifier. Holy shit, yes. It's actually valuable. <laughs> it's actually valuable. How much does it cost now? Oh, sweet. 120. The rest of these are meh. Meh. Okay, so you are next. I'm gonna turn on. There we go. We're almost done with converting. Why is it say a hundred here? Don't you have to use this? How does this work? So you can only have one active at a time? Yeah. I think so. Only one decree can be enacted at once. They cannot be cancelled before their end date. What is this? All the decisions have been taken. So... It doesn't say anything about this. Emperor gets trade efficiency and a Dex of Diplomat. Monthly autonomy change. That's, a, that's nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And the clergy are loyal, aren't they? Well, not anymore. Give them some money. Now they'll stay loyal for a while. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, this is Jonju. I can't have the clergy estate gain 10 influence. I just clicked the button to give them this. You asshole. God damn it. When things don't work out the way you want them to. So we got separatists incoming. Printing industry. The next institution. <laughs> Like, military-wise, I could go to war and probably take Korea, but it's just... It's not a good time. Low stability, nope. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. I don't care what the other one was. Okay. I'm gonna convert you. Turn off this edict. And there we go. Okay, the last two provinces will be converted and everything will be fine. 116. There's no way for me to get this higher, is there? I could give the clergy some land, I guess? I can give them this. Then they become loyal. Wait until a new month. Clergy minus 10%. So it's cost me 106. It's almost base cost. Okay. True legitimacy. Okay. So to get rid of this, I need one more click. Hmm. 
Korshin is at war with who? Korea, okay. I think you're gonna lose, Korshin. You lost last time. Come on, just get over there. Uh, I don't know what that is. Is that is my heir? No. Oh, that was my leader. Holy shit, she's good. Five three three. Come on. I want to get rid of this so badly. There we go. Ah, oh, thank God, that's over. I can start coring this now when I get the admin points. Okay, so disaster is over. Uh, the country has been united. Kinda. Give me admin. Always give me admin. And there we go. We are now 100% religious unity. Which is really good. Let's go to speed 3 now. And... A hole called bankruptcy. What? Oh man, the Aaron went bankrupt? How did you go bankrupt? You still have those forts on, you idiot. You're still paying for the forts. Now you got you lost one of the forts, right? You can't afford to pay for forts, man. You, you're not that rich. What, am I just going to pay off debt forever? Weird. Weird, weird, weird. You guys are almost loyal. My legitimacy is too low. I am ahead of time on military power. There we go. There we go. Boom. Problem solved. Let's just get some uh, CBs out. Hmm. 80%. You're not gonna fire. That's fine. Okay. Beautiful. 25 development. It's grain. That's garbage. Let's see. Trade goods. Trade goods. We got fur. We got a lot of chinaware. I think that was one of the uh, objectives here. Yeah, chinaware. Silk, spice, or chinaware. Oh, motherfucker. And now we gotta unrest again. You are just completely incompetent, aren't you? Now. Should I make year in a march? I think so. Like, he's not going to make enough money to be worth anything. Let's make him a march. Uh, if the total development of the march is not more than 25% of their overlord, currently 12%, they also get the following bonuses. So if the march is really small, then it's better. 
hey, look at that, they're loyal. You are still uh, shit though, right? Wait, we're at great power even though we're underneath uh, Ming? Really? So Ming has... Are we still not under Japan? What happened? I made a march. How did I not... I don't understand this. Why am I no longer a tributary of Ming? Because I made a march? That's it? I made a march. They didn't say anything about warning me that if you make this country a march... But this system is stupid. Am I gonna have to go to war with Yeren like the third fucking time now? Why can't I become strategic interests? You asshole. I don't understand this, and it's pissing me off. Ay, 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 ay. Yes, I will. What the fuck just happened there? This system is so fucking buggy. Look at that, Korchin just lost the war against Korea. Like I knew he would. Ah, oh, we're no longer a great power. Oh, boo -hoo. Let's finish this coring and let's go to war with uh, Korea, shall we? Well, I'll do that, like, uh, once I've stabilized a bit more. I still have two loans, I still have some more stuff to core. But this system is too stupid. I mean, why... Every time I do something with my vassals, I lose my tributary status with me. Why is that? What is... Oh, oh no. It's a two products, dude. How is Yaren doing now? He's not paying me anything. He's still in debt. You have back you have loans, okay. You are just completely incompetent. And you lost the gold mine, didn't you? Yeah you did. Yeah, you did. This will not fire, so we're good. Let's take a look at my uh, navy. No, never mind. I need to pay off these loans. The interest rates are killing me. Wait, Baratia wants an alliance? I can make them a vassal. That's interesting. Getting another vassal? That's uh, improved relations with you? If I can, there we go. Yep, sure. So, what do you have reconquest wise? Uh, not that great. I can probably just annex you. Probably. Two more, and I'm done. Like, I don't want this culture. Like, this culture group... What is this culture group? No, 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 not this. Buratiat. Tungus. Is that... No, it's culture Ivenki. That is, uh, this... I don't want that. I want... 
I don't want this one either. I want the Chinese one. So I accepted Korean because it's just good a good choice. And then after that, I'm gonna go for uh, Chinese cultures. Ah, oh, look at this! Finally, finally, we're done with the fucking koi. And it's good timing because uh, we're out of time. We have one more loan left, and we're doing good. We're making money. We have a march. We have an impending second vessel. And yeah, it's uh, it was a slow episode, but uh, we'll uh, go to war with Korea in the next episode and just take him over. How much does he cost? 101%. Well, I can probably squeeze more and more percent from them, but I'll do that in the next episode. So, see you guys.